times a year, of course. I've been here since 40, no, not 40, 66. I came here. And I was with my dad from 46 to 66. How long did it take you to become a barber after the war? Six months. Because when I got out, my father was a barber, and he said, well, um, well, there's no jobs to be gotten. And uh, he said, get your barber's license. The barber always can find work. So I went and got my barber's license temporarily. And it's been temporarily for 63 years now. Do you remember where you were when you actually heard about Pearl Harbor? We were in the filling station. It was at O'Shaughnessy's, which was a service station plus a bowling alley. And we were out front servicing or gassing up cars, trucks, whatever had to be done. And Mr. Gown, Bill Gown, called us over, this other guy, Slim, and I, and told us, come listen to this, no problem will affect you. We did, and I was trying to ask Mr. Bill something. He said, just listen, boy, listen. And uh, we were 18. And uh, after the news went down, I asked Mr. Bill, where was Pearl Harbor, Pearl River? I didn't know where it was. Nine months later, I was in Pearl Harbor. We joined up, and it was one of the first places I went up on ship. Mr. Buddy, what did your wife do during the war? She worked for consol Consolidated, uh, out where Consolidated was, uh, the PBY. She was called electrician, but I didn't even know her then. Yeah, like I said, she's from West Rico, and that's where she came to work. Uh, How'd you meet up? We, I met her in barber school. She was the only girl in barber school, and all of us GIs were there trying to get our license. Well, we did get our license so we could find work. And uh, that's where I met her. That's where I first took her out on 4th of July, 1946. And we got married on November 46. And I told her, that next month, the 10th of November, we'll make this 63 years, providing we don't get a divorce between now and then. I should be retired, but I come here to stay out of my wife's hair. I think I drive her crazy, but stay home. I can't sit down uh, too long. I'm so used to standing up. Visit friends and say, Well, sit down, but I said, I'd rather stand. I like standing better. So it's, uh, it's been a great life in the bar. And there's no work involved. A lot of BS, but no work. <laughs>